Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the new column called Variations on a Theme. In this lesson, I am going to take last month's lesson one step further and keep you going into the spring, summer days with some awesome chops, different ways of playing them across the fretboard and different string sets. This is going to be great. Check it out. Okay, so let me break this leg down for you. This is a symmetrical pattern of four notes, and there's three groups of those four notes. And the, the frets that you play this particular example on are only three frets, fret number 12, 13, and 15. And I like to think of this particular lick in a section or groups of only two strings. And then the same particular motif repeats on the next group of strings, next group of strings, and so on, until you, until you basically run out of room on your guitar. Okay, so this is what I do. Okay, so here is the first four notes. Right? And you, I might as well tell you right now that I alternate pick this whole entire motif. As a matter of fact, the whole example from the beginning to the end is alternate picked. Okay, so once again, first four notes. Next four notes. And last grouping. Okay, so you have. And remember that if you keep it nice and steady, with the right hand, which is basically going down, up, down, up, down, up, you shouldn't really have a problem playing the slick fast. So as you can see, I played the first pattern and just basically continued on with the same exact pattern or motif, except I started on string second and went into the string number three. So it's same exact thing. I'm going to play the first one again. Now notice I play the same exact thing except I start on a B string. And then I continue with the same concept down. I'm going to start at the next spot which is the third string. Okay, so let me talk about a little bit more about what I do with the picking hand. As I mentioned before, every note is alternate picked in this example. And although there's a lot of notes in this particular exercise, your right hand basically goes up and down, up and down, pick motion-wise, but at the same time, make sure that you don't tighten up the hand and you almost start like chicken scratching the notes. What you're looking for is fluidity, equal amount of spacing between every time you hit a note, and you basically want a almost like a waterfall, a fall of notes versus you hearing going jung, jung, dun, 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 you know, that type of stuff. You really want it to be nice and smooth. Okay? So I'm going to play this example for you and could check out what I do with my right hand. So as you were able to see, my right hand doesn't even travel up and down the guitar. It's almost like stays in the same place. And the way you can get it really smooth is that 
I basically eliminate as much movement as I can. It's almost like you could think of this hand as, I call it the inkjet printer cartridge. It basically just moves when your printer prints a page. So this is what I try to um, sort of accomplish when I play. <laughs>